Welcome, everybody, to another episode of this show that is on the internet that you watch. I'm your host, Kyle Fines. I'm getting pumped for summer because the movies, they are coming out. They're big, they're dumb, they're loud, and God damn it, do you need to be drunk to get through them. So we're going to have a lot of fun today because we always do. Hope you're uh, having a cocktail on the other side of that screen. Maybe it's coffee, maybe it's a uh, pina colada, maybe it's a Tom Collins. Who knows? As long as you're enjoying it. I hope you're at work too. I hope you're getting drunk at work. <laughs> hope you don't care about your work. Folks, I've hand selected a comedian for today's episode that I think you're all going to enjoy. She's a very funny person. She's extremely nervous to be on this show because she considers herself a lightweight. We're going to show her otherwise. We're going to welcome her in with open arms and show her that Drunk Movie Day is for all people. Then we'll go to the movie and uh, we'll get shit-faced. Put your hands together for the wonderful, the talented Miss... Is it Miss? Yeah. Miss Carla Ma! <laughs> Beating... Oh! <laughs> I bought some stuff for you. <laughs> oh! I didn't like that. Thanks for raiding an airplane and bringing us all these mini bottles. This episode of Drunk Movie Day is brought to you by Absolute Smirnoff. Mm -hmm. And Beefeater. And don't forget about their stupid cousin, Sky. You what, mate? I need to let you know that the point of this show isn't to get shit face. Sometimes that is the result of the product, mm. but that is not the point. The spirit of the show is that all movies these days are terrible and you need to have a couple of drinks to get through them. That's all. The goal is to survive these movies. Keyword survive, will I? Today we are going to be seeing a sequel to a movie. Do you like monsters? I love monsters. Do you like robots? I love robots. Do you like monsters and robots? I love monsters and robots doing that. Perfect, because we're gonna go see Pacific Rim 2. That's out right now? Whoa. Let's cheers to facing our fears. Yeah. yeah. Hope there's no snakes in that theater. Ooh, I'm done. Carla, let's hit the road. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Jaeger pilots, do you understand? One way to find out. That's what I'm talking about. We just got back from Pacific Rim Uprising, so you know what that means. We like to drink, and we like movies. Time to put them together. When you've got a bad movie and you got a couple drinks, you think that everything is A-OK. -okay. But when you get home and you look at your notes, you realize it's Drunk Movie Day. It's Drunk Movie Day. With your host, Carla Ma. And your special guest, Kyle Fines. Hey guys, yeah, what's up? I'm just chilling. We're getting back from the movie. It's Drunk Movie Day. We watched Pacific Rim Uprising, Pacific Rim 2. What did you think? Oh boy, did I love this movie. And I thought the performances all around were great. And I can't wait to see where the story goes next. I give this movie... An uprising 8 out of 10. Ooh, let's do our best impressions of Scott Eastwood in the movie Pacific Rim Uprising. Okay, 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 okay. What? Should we help the people? Yeah. You cadets are here for a reason, and you have to make a difference in the world, and I'm tired of telling you what to do. So, so let's get out there. Every time he's on screen, I just was watching going, I miss Paul Walker so much. <laughs> Is that like he's the shitty replacement now? We've lost Paul Walker. And God said, well, I'm out of Paul Walker's. Here's Scott Eastwood, I guess. And everybody said, no, thank you. And God said, 
Uh, I can't hear you. We said no thank, thank you, you to Scott Eastwood. I'm sorry, what? The TVs? I'm going through a tunnel. No, they... Shut up, I'm God! I just realized we didn't talk about the plot. You've seen the first movie, monsters attack the world from a different dimension. They go into robots to stop this. Pretty simple? Yeah, pretty simple. Second movie? Same plot. It Ten was... years later, and it's everybody's kids. Somebody laughed during that movie at an attempt of a joke. People legitimately we thought there were funny, funny moments in that movie. <laughs> oh, oh, that one character said he was sexy, but he's a boy. Ooh, it's funny. They're just trying to have a good time, Carl. Am I broken inside? Carla? Uh-huh. I'd like to tell you about my favorite character in the movie. Okay. May I? Sure. My favorite character is when we come to the head base of all the good guys mm -hmm. with all the Jaggers and the robots in the command center. Mm -hmm. We're doing sweeping shots, sort of like a Top Gun situation. We're seeing robots walking around, maintenance people, everything like that. And then we get a nice zoom by close up of a flight traffic controller with two batons <laughs> just going. For too long. And I'd like to think that somebody went out for that audition. So excited, like. Agent told them, oh, it's a secret secret project. You can't. This is your big break. This is your big break. You can't tell anybody what, what this audition is for. And they're like, can you give me a hint? And they're like, do you, have you seen Pacific Rim? Oh! And then, but you don't get your sides yet. You'll get your sides in the room. Hey, I heard that the sides are here. Sides? What? No. Can you do this? Yeah. Perfect. You're hired. A lot of the technology in this movie is a ripoff of Minority Report, but just not done well, where oh, yeah. there's always a map in the center of the room, mm. and people just casually walk in, fist closed, and throw maps, digital maps, on top of maps. And then somebody will go, oh, I see what you've done there, but how about this, this. information? <laughs> and don't forget about this. So that means that this computer program was made keeping in mind that anybody could just walk in the room, throw their hand in a motion, mm. and they would just know what they wanted to throw out? Eh. Whoa! <laughs> uh. Whoa! At the end of the movie, near the end of the movie. Nope. Oh. And I don't even know how he knew where the bad guy was. He's fun, I like him. What does she even do? What is her job? He's just so fun. It's gross, but I, I, it's fine. These teenagers are not even in school. I said robot sperm. He's so little. Whoa, did you see him swallow that beer? I'm learning. Let's talk about the montage near the end. Oh yeah. There's a great montage where they're pulling together their forces again. The scrappy young teen is given about a day to fix up all of the robots to fight the monsters. It's all done in a quick montage of everybody helping out, fixing a robot, checking data, like drilling, drilling. fucking doing, drilling, 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 sparks, fire, training, blah, blah, blah. Zoom cut to the scientist and a girl just looking at data. Oh yeah, and he has coffee stained papers. Yeah, and then it just holds Holds. Holds. Rock music. Still going. Holds. Fade. Could you watch an hour and a half movie of just the fights? I mean, if I wanted, well, yeah, I could. So then there's this one scene where I think it was the, one of the first f fight scenes in the movie, but this whole missile gets shot at one of the Jaggers evil robot being controlled by an alien brain. Instead of stopping the missile, he they, they just watch it go by and hit a building full of people. I'm like, you're so bad at your job. They do have a moment where the, over the walkie talkies, they say, all the civilians are underground and safe. Please engage the kaiju. And then immediately all the robots get out their swords and cut through empty buildings. Yeah. Because I get it, there's no more humans left, but, oh, yeah. Nobody's going back to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out of 10 terrible Scott Eastwood line reads, what would you give this movie? It's Ranger Lambert. That's how Scott Eastwood acts when he realizes he has to. You can see in his eyes when he sometimes just looks at the screen and goes, 
can I please stop acting now? <laughs> yeah. I give it eight out of 10 bad Scott Eastwood Ooh. lines. Be a Mar- Let's Mar- get Mar- away. Try not to steal anything while you're here. That's a good review. If you take a nap every time a character starts talking, <laughs> You'll miss about 10 minutes of talking and then awake during a robot punching out another robot's heart. It's great. Yeah, it's a great movie to take a nap to. Get back into it and you'll see robots fucking shit up and robot sperm. Oh, tons of robot sperm. You'll know when you see robot sperm. Mm Mm-hmm. Buckets full of it. So much. Just swimming down the streets of- Carla, I'd like to thank you for being on the show. Aw, thank you for having me. And as we always say at the end of every episode of Drunk Movie Day, see you at the movies. movies. Until next Next time, time, when we are having another another drink drink at at the the movies, movies. is where where we'll we'll see see you. you. Have Have a great great night. night. Don't Don't forget forget to shut the dumpster dumpster lid lid because of raccoons. See you you next time. time. How do you feel about that? Um, pretty good. Could have been better. Like the whole thing? Yeah. Can we just do it again? Sounds good to me.